Hello sa inyong lahat! Again, this is Teacher Novi and for today's video, i-discuss ko ang first lesson ng quarter 1 of Mathematics 9 which is the illustrations of quadratic equations. I-ready ang ballpen at notebook sa mga gustong mag-take down notes. Or kung hindi naman, pwede mo namang i-replay ang video na ito kung meron kang hindi naintindihan. Okay? So, magsisimula na tayo. Ang learning objectives natin ay, at the end of this video, you will be able to define a quadratic equation. Number two, write quadratic equations in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And last, number three, identify the real numbers a, b, and c. What is a quadratic equation? Okay. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. Pag sinabi natin degree 2, ibig sabihin ito yung makikita mong exponent, highest exponent ng ating equation. So, pag hindi mo ito nakita sa equation, or wala kang nakitang 2 na exponent sa equation, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya quadratic. Mamaya, magbibigay ako ng example para dyan. So, ang standard form ng quadratic equation natin ay ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, wherein a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Question, bakit hindi pwedeng maging 0 ang a? Okay, sasagutan natin yan mamaya. Note, A is always positive in the standard form. So, dito na tayo sa standard form ng ating quadratic equation. Ano nga ba ang tawag natin sa bawat terms na nandito sa equation natin? Ayan. So, ang first term natin, tinatawag natin na quadratic term. Okay? So, si ax squared ay quadratic term. And then, how about bx? This is called linear term. And then, for the last term, it is called the constant term. Okay? Tandaan lang na si a, b, and c ay real numbers. Okay? And then, yung x na dito, these are the variables. So, pag sinabi natin constant, wala siyang kasamang variable. Okay? Nakuha? And then, syempre, nasa equation tayo, kaya laging merong equal sign. So, let's identify some of the equations. Some of the equations, if it is quadratic or not. Ayan, meron tayong five items. Let's identify first the number one. Is it considered as quadratic equation? What do you think is the answer? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Bakit? Kasi nga, ayan x squared minus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. Meron kang nakikitang degree of 2. Ayan, meron nandito. So, highest exponent niya is 2. Next, how about in number 2? Is it, is it a quadratic equation or not? The answer is, of course it is. How about number 3? We only have 2 terms. Ayan. Considered ba siya as quadratic equation? Yes pa rin. Bakit? Kasi nga, nandyan pa rin si exponent na 2. Okay? Anong terms ang meron? So, now, example number 3, we have the quadratic term and then the linear term. Wala siyang constant term. Okay? Number 4, quadratic or not? Of course, quadratic. And then, number 5, quadratic or not? The answer is no. Bakit? 
wala na si exponent na 2. So, itong equation natin sa number 5, naging linear equation na lang siya. Kasi ang highest degree niya is 1. Okay, nakuha ba? Okay, let's proceed. Now, we have to identify the values of A, B, and C in the quadratic equation. Paano natin yan gagawin? Paano natin dito malalaman ang values ni A, B, and C? Okay, so magbe-base tayo sa standard form. Naka-standard form ba siya? Okay, this is the ax squared, this is the bx, and this is c. So dito, ang value ni a is 1. Meron ka bang nakikita ang number? Wala, di ba? Imaginary kasi siya. Kapag 1 kasi sa mathematics, usually hindi na natin nilalagay. Especially kapag kasama siya ng variable or sa exponent. Can be invisible na lang siya. Okay? How about the value of b? So, this is our bx. It is negative 6. And then, for the value of c, our constant, it is negative 7. Ang constant natin, walang kasamang variable. So, ito yung constant. Okay? Next. Number 2, identify the values of a, b, and c in the quadratic equation x squared plus 8x plus 16. Naka-standard form na siya. So, ang kailangan na lang natin, i-identify natin yung values. So, for A, again, it is 1. And for B, it is 8. And for the constant term, it's 16. Nakuha? Very good. So, next example. Number 3. 2x squared minus 8x equals to 0. May napapansin ba kayo sa example number 3? Okay, meron lang tayong dalawang terms. Ano ang missing term? Yung constant term natin. Wala tayong constant term. So, anong mangyayari? Ayan, tignan natin. So, identify natin ang a. Ang a natin dito is 2. And then, b natin is negative Eight. Huwag niyong kalimutang isama yung sign ng numbers natin, ha? And then, for the constant, meron ba tayong constant term? Wala. So, kapag wala kang nakikita, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dyan is zero. Okay? Next. Number four. 5x squared minus 4 equals to Zero. Again, meron ulit tayong dalawang terms sa example number 4. Meron tayong quadratic term. Meron ba tayong linear term? Wala. Ang present naman dito is constant term. So, identify natin ulit ang value ng A, B, and C. So, for A, that is equal to 5. For B, which is the linear term, the coefficient of the linear term, meron ka bang nakikita? Wala. Kaya zero ang sagot. And then for the constant term, that is negative 4. Nakuha? Okay. Again, let's proceed. The next. x squared is equal to 3x plus 10. Naka-standard form ba siya? Hindi. Kasi naka nasa kabilang side yung ibang terms natin. So, kailangang ilipat natin sa isang side. Itaban yung standard form natin, ha? ax squared plus bx is equal to, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, anong gagawin natin dito? Magta-transpose tayo. Or maglilipat. Ililipat natin itong si 3x plus 10 sa left side ng equation. So, proceed. Ayan. And by the way, class, huwag niyong kalilimutan na pag nag-transpose tayo, mababago yung mga signs natin. Okay? Ano nang mangyayari kay 3x at saka kay 10? Ayan. Since nag-transpose na tayo, si positive 3x pumunta sa kabila, naging minus 3x. Same true with n, positive n, 
Pumunta na siya sa left side, kaya naging negative 10 na siya. And then, equate mo na siya sa 0 kasi wala nang natira dito sa right side. Nakuha? Now, let's proceed sa pag-identify ng values of A, B, and C. Ayan, naka-standard form na siya. So, identify na natin si A, B, and C. A is 1. B is negative 3 and C is negative 10. How about if we have this kind of problem or equation? Siyempre, kailangan natin i-transform itong equation na to into its standard form before tayo makapag-identify ng values ng A, B, and C. So, paano natin gagawin yan? Ganito lang. Ayan, magdi-distributive property tayo. So, 2x times x is equal to 2x squared plus 2x times 1 is equal to 2x, then equal to 0. Naka-standard form na ba siya? Yes. So, it is already in the standard form. Ngayon, mag identify na tayo ng values of A, B, and C. So, for the value of A, that is equal to 2. And for the value of B, that is equal to 2 also. And for the value of the C, or the constant term, wala naman tayong makikita, kaya 0. Okay? Then, okay, we have another example. What if it's like this? Negative 8x squared plus x equals to 6. Again, transform natin into its standard form. Paano? Ililipat natin si 6 sa kabilang side ng equation. So, ang mangyayari, negative 8x squared plus x minus 6. Bakit minus 6? Since positive siya sa kabila, pag transpose mo na siya sa kabilang side, magiging negative na si 6. And then, equal to 0. Kasi wala nang natira sa side na to. Remember, meron akong sinabi kanina sa unang slides natin kung saan kapag nasa standard form ng equation natin, kailangan si A is always positive. Ang gagawin lang is we have to multiply or divide the equation into negative 1. So, dito ang choice ko na pinili ko is to multiply the equation to negative 1. Okay? So, nangyayari, negative 1 times negative 8x squared magiging positive na siya. And then, negative 1 times positive x, that is negative x. Of course, negative 1 times negative 6 is equal to positive 6. And para dito sa kabilang side ng equation, equation since 0 naman yan, any number multiplied to 0 is always equal to 0. So, ang final natin na quadratic equation ay 8x squared minus x plus 6 equals to 0. Now, identify the values of a, b, and c. Standard form na yan. For the value of A, it is equal to 8, B is negative 1, and C is equal to 6. Okay? So, think about this. If we have this equation, 3x squared plus 7x minus 1 equals to 0. What is A in the equation? The answer is 3, of course. Why do you think A must not be equal to 0? Ito yung question natin kanina sa nauna nating uh, slides. What happens to the equation when A is equal to 0? Okay, ito ang sagot. The value of A must not be equal to 0 because it is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. So, pag ito naging 0, ano na lang ang mangyayari sa quadratic term natin? Diba? Sabi ko nga, any number multiplied to 0 is always equal to 0. So, kapag si A naging 0, automatically, si quadratic term natin ay 0. So, mawawala na to. Anong mangyayari sa equation? Magiging 
linear equation na siya. Kaya hindi pwedeng maging 0 si A. Nakuha? Okay. Next question. What is the value of B in this equation? That is 7. If B is 0, will the equation still be a quadratic? The answer is, of course, yes. Hindi naman maapektuhan yan. Okay. As long na meron kang quadratic term, kahit yung, linear, kahit yung linear term mo is 0, okay lang yan. It is still a quadratic equation. Then, last question, what is C in the equation? Of course, that is negative 1. And if C is equal to 0, will the equation still be a quadratic? The answer is still yes. So, kahit 0 C, C, quadratic equation pa rin yan. Okay? Ang importante lang, ang hindi maging 0 ay C, A. So, that's it for the uh, first lesson in Mathematics 9, the illustrations of quadratic equation. I hope meron kang natutunan sa video na ito. So, maraming salamat sa pakikinig at panonood ng video na ito. Till next time, thank you and stay safe everyone. Bye-bye!